They're flying. They are flying. It's the first time in their whole lives they've felt safe and able to do that. So they are lovely. <laughs> My name is Michelle Coates and I've been fostering with Blue Sky for 10 years this year. We had two children of our own. We did, always wanted more children. However, we did sort of see a lot of badness in the world and a lot of children that really needed looking after. And we thought, well, we've got space in our home. Um, why bring any more children into the world of our own when we could look after somebody else's that really, really need it? That, that was our reason. So over the last 10 years, we've had various types of children, different age groups. We currently have a girl that's at uni that's been with us for seven and a half years. Um, boys, girls, yeah, various different ages, although lately we've tended to focus more on young children. We have two boys who are Polish and they have lived with us for 18 months now. They are sibling boys, yes. Um, the two that we have are now six and eight. I think the key thing to remember when you have siblings is they're still two different little people. Um, although they're brothers or sisters or whatever, um, they're still independent little beings, yeah, who have come through maybe the same trauma, um, but they've often experienced it in a very different way and their reactions are very, very different. So they're different little people, yeah. <laughs> if they don't go home to parents, which is still a possibility currently, then we have said that we will keep them till they're 18. They're absolutely wonderful, <laughs> they're adorable. They have brought so much to our family. In terms of joy, um, laughter, they're funny, quirky little guys. Um, they go to the school in my village, which is wonderful for me. We walk um, and they love new experiences. They love everything we do together as a family. They'll give it a go. They'll try it. They love it. They're thoughtful. They're empathic. They're, um, can, and they're amazing at school. They have Oh, they're just amazing. They're flying. They are flying. It's the first time in their whole lives they've felt safe and able to do that. So they are lovely. <laughs> Blue Sky have been extremely supportive. They really have. Um, more recently, my sister died just a month ago um, and Blue Sky have been really supportive um, with picking the children up from school a couple of times um, and looking after them. Um, so yeah, we've, we've been I don't know if we've been lucky or they just are really good. We've, we've been very, very blessed with our social workers, yeah. The decision to foster has impacted our lives massively, absolutely massively. Um, when we started, our youngest daughter was 12. It was great for her. I think it made her very, very appreciative of what she had. So it's very good for your birth children, I think, to go through fostering. Um, yes, it's impacted massively. I can't say that it hasn't, but a lot of real, real positive ways. Um, some negative ways, obviously. I think any, it isn't really a job. It's hard to describe it as a job because it is a lifestyle. Um, but with any job, your job does impact your life and fostering definitely does. But I certainly think it brings a hell of a lot more positives than the negatives. Yeah, definitely. All sorts of ways. <laughs> so the sort of life fostering has given us is it's really opened our eyes. It's opened our eyes to all sorts of experiences that we never knew really existed for other people's children. Um, huge times of sadness, um, definitely sadness. Um, huge times of joy. It's made us much more empathic as a family and much more aware of things that go on in the world that you wouldn't necessarily always want to know about, but they're there and we can do something to help and it gives you an amazing feeling that you're doing something brilliant and you are you really are <laughs> i think if you're considering fostering more important than room in your house is room in your heart it really really is i think it makes you a better rounded person it makes you more aware of yes certainly there are horrible things going on in the world but it also makes you realise that you can do something positive to help them. Um, so yeah, I'd say go for it. You, you just, yeah, you need the room in your heart. <laughs>